Did it? So then, I know we've got two more bits to talk before we move on. Mm-hmm. So, they've just announced Paddy Pimlet versus Tony Ferguson. <laughs> so, no, but I need to... I'm glad we're doing this live, you know, because we didn't get to talk off air. If the same Paddy Pimblet is as bad as he is, this Tony Ferguson's apparently got a six loss streak. Oh. And Paddy Pimblet's got a six win streak. So what happens in this fight, Noble? Because is Paddy this baddie that everyone says he is? Is he gonna beat my man? Or is this a is or is Dana cashing him out? <laughs> is Dana cashing him out? No, but what's going on here? Cashing Cashing yeah. um Pimblet out. He's, he's trying to give him a um a very winnable fight. That's what he's trying to do. He, a well, favorable fight for, for him to get a win off my brethren Tony Al Kakui Ferguson, who went on a it's so terrible to say he went on a legendary was it a twelve fight or nine fight winning streak. To become the interim champion, lightweight champion, defeated the Phenom um, to, to do that, doing media in ESPN or whatever, trips over cables, tears the hell out of his, his, his knee. So then the fight with him and Khabib, which was has been cancelled five times. Everybody was looking for this fight between Tony Ferguson and Khabib. Everybody was looking for it. 25 and 9, his record is now, sibling. 25 and 9. He has lost against Bobby Green to an armbar triangle choke in round three. Nate Diaz, he lost by a guillotine choke round four. Um, Michael Chandler, foot kick. To the face, which became a meme in round two. Let's rewind. Round one, Tony Ferguson won that. And everyone was like, shoot, we've got the new Tony. We've got the old Tony back. Light on his feet. He's, he's chopping the legs. He's, them elbows are crazy. And he get kicked in the face. Benil Darus, um, unanimous decision loss. This got totally dominated. Charles Oliveira, the former champ, totally dominated uh, Tony Ferguson almost broke his arm did not sub- didn't submit just came out with his arm or twist up and whatever went on to the next round now this is where the decline of um Tony Ferguson took place he's 39 years of age let's not forget that he wait, and this is uh, the zombie apocalypse times my man did a weight cut unnecessarily because there was no fight, but just to prove it for some crazy reason, we don't know why he did this, but it's come to light that unfortunately Tony Ferguson does have um, suffer with mental uh, illness. Um, so that may have led to why he did that. So let's fast forward. So then he then cuts weight again and fights the killer in Justin Gaethje. I've only watched that fight once, Mark. I refuse to watch it again. It, it's horrible. Why well, got boss up? He got destroyed. First couple, first two rounds were pretty competitive, pretty competitive, and Tony Ferguson caught Gaethje with an uppercut from hell, almost took him out, and I was thinking, yeah, man, Tony, <laughs> we can finally try and get this. This Khabib number six going and actually get this man. No, if, you know, Gaethje recovered and just pieced him the hell up to the point where he received a combination. And poor Tony Ferguson, he I don't I don't think he knew where he was. He was just like reaching at the air and stuff, sibling. It was thinking about it now. It's, it's bad, yeah. He got destroyed, and that led to his, as I've just broke down, his um, his loss, his losses after losses after losses after losses. He should have beat, he should have beat um, Michael Chandler. He should have beat Michael Chandler. He should have beat Benil Dar- Darius. But it's his 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 time is up. The age, father time, you can't mess with him. He's he's too old. So now. his time's up. So. 
it's sad to say, man. So, I pad, to so, pad, so Paddy beats my man. P- Paddy, sh- on paper and based upon age and stuff, Paddy should beat Tony Fleger. It's not going. It's it's going to go one. It's going to go one or two ways mm. for for Paddy to win. It's either going to be quick, and he's going to catch him, or he's going to get him. He's probably maybe get a decision, a decision victory. Um, Tony's is slowed down tremendously. He's slowed down tremendously. The, his style, I mean, I, I'll send you a video after, and someone breaks down Tony Ferguson. And until I saw this video, I was like, shit. I mean, I, I could see there were holes, but flipping out, he hasn't adjusted. Remember I was saying how the elevation of the game? Yeah. When he came in, he was so unorthodox that you couldn't, <laughs> there was no read on him. You'd, you'd go for a double, he would roll into it and get you in a guillotine. You'd shoot for a double leg, you know what I mean? A single leg. He would spin in to do a, um, a gamby roll out of it. He would gamby roll into you and do an ankle pick. He'd be spinning around, chopping you up with elbows. No one could no one could figure that thing out. But because of the age and because he'd, he didn't cover the holes, he'd step in with his chin up in the air. One, two, chin in the air, not not head off the center line, spinning unnecessarily, putting himself out of position, and his feet are out of position. And you're thinking, Tony, you're putting yourself in stupid positions with people who will kill you. So, so yeah. So, so is this last chance saloon for Tony Ferguson? If Tony Ferguson were to beat Paddy Pimla, is it over for Paddy Pimla? Or is no, it it's not? No. no so is this a big fight the, then? It's a it's a big fight for the name. If he if he he's the former champion, he went I mean let me count them down. How many fights did he go on a win streak? Because it's on the, you know they've put this on Leon's thing, you know. This is on yes. the Leon on the card. This is a stack. Yes. So where's Leon fighting um, Covington in Vegas. MSG? Sure. Oh, Vegas. Sure. Vegas. The one, the one to, to be... So, okay, let's get into some more controversy. Yeah. So, um, it should have been at MSG. It should have been at Madison Square Garden. Kobe's yeah. got a big, big fanship over there. Yeah. President Trump always calls to see Kobe when he fights. Generally, if it's not him, it's, it's the son, right? Mm. So, John Jones, he's going to be there. Fighting Stipe Miocic. Well, oh, Leon's on the same card as uh, John Jones. Not anymore. This I was going to say, the big, big Not boy a, thing. That would be a big boy thing, exactly, in the pay per view buys for that. And they got to pay, they got to pay him the back end. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. Because Colby and John Jones, they. So Colby, John Jones, and Al Jermain all went to the same wrestling team. I don't know if there was any if there's any other fighters in the UFC who who can say that you know who who was there, but Kobe has got some very bad things to say about John Jones. For the time that he was with him in university, college, whatever the hell it was, and then obviously he's the stuff that we've discussed that he's done outside of the octagon, which are disgusting. And I don't rate my man for it whatsoever. I think he's a very talented fighter. His personal life, F John Jones. As a result, John Jones didn't want to have to sit down because Kobe, as you know, isn't how entertaining he is with this WWE style of smack. And not all of it is foolishness that he talks. He has to bring some level of truth to bring the back end of the folly. So he would have been rinsing John Jones at that press conference. So John Jones was like, listen, Dana, I'm not being on no card or Kobe's not being on no card with me. And Dana's like, all right, cool. You know, it's you're the baddest man on the, you're the baddest man in, on the planet. You know what I mean? So yeah, cool. We do whatever you want, John Jones. Please just don't yeah, get into trouble with the, with the police. Please don't beat up, you, you know, your significant other, you know, please don't uh, bust your gun in, um, you know, suburban areas and let's yeah. do this fight 